Alrighty then, let's do this little thing called a Halloween look. <laughs> I have been inspirationless for Halloween. I'm just gonna, just gonna put it out there. I don't know. I think it's like a fat, like a mixture of all the drama going on on social media, and then also I talked about this in my last Halloween video, and then also just like. We've been rearranging things at the Arctic Fox office. If you're new to my channel, I'm one of the founders and owners of Arctic Fox Hair Color. And we have a beautiful little office right up the street from my house, 0.5 miles to be exact. I can walk, it's amazing. But we're rearranging a bunch of stuff in there, um, hiring new people, which is amazing, but is also a little bit stressful. I have an awesome team to help me, which is great, but I've been very, very busy. And so I there hasn't been a whole lot of time or room in my brain for creative stuff, which sucks because that's what makes me very happy. So I snagged this inspiration from Pinterest. I was literally like Halloween look. <laughs> I was like, what? Like just looking through to find something to spur some inspiration. Um, but I'm just straight up gonna recreate this one because I love it so much. The sad part is I do not know who this is. It was just a photo that someone else had pinned from somewhere else and there's no tag on the picture, but maybe you guys know. You guys are like the World Wide Web right here. Like. You're my lifeline. Maybe you can let me know. This is the Beautimus ladies makeup <laughs> that I picked out. I think this is really fun. I'm gonna add a couple little things, but it's not really gonna be inspired by it. It's mostly just gonna be recreation. Am I the only one that gets annoyed when people are like, this is inspired by so-and-so? I'm like, no bitch, you literally just recreated the same thing and changed the lip shade. That is not taking inspiration from, in my opinion. It's just a recreation. So with that being said, we're gonna recreate her look. I'm gonna change the lip shade and add a couple things, but essentially it's gonna be recreation. I think this is a really fun, simple, easy look that you could literally do with like one palette and maybe even a white eyeliner and some glitter. Like you're good, you could make it work. So this is also something you can do like last minute. If you're going to Halloween, something or other and you want to be festive but you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a costume and an outfit this is a good look because it's colorful it's fun it's glittery i just spit at the camera <laughs> good thing you guys are behind a screen okay um and i have really bad coffee breath so that's another good reason <laughs> but um yeah just a super fun easy colorful pretty look that looks like you put some effort in without having to spend a bunch of money on an outfit pulling all the parts together to an outfit is always like a little hard too, which is why I always pretty much just do videos in my studio where it's just like right here and that's pretty much it. Like get crazy with a wig or what have you, but oh, my uh, foundation. I am notorious for leaving things unscrewed. Ryan hates it. Like I'll leave the pickle jar in the fridge and just like leave the lid barely on there and he'll try and take it out and I'm trying to get better at it. Let's get into this tutorial. What I'm gonna do is actually do my base after my eyes because it is such a colorful look that there's bound to be some fallout and I don't wanna worry, about, I just wanna pack on the color and not worry about it falling onto the base. Oh, I put too much chapstick on, I can just feel it going inside my mouth. That's lovely. I'm gonna wet my beauty blender. Actually, this isn't a beauty blender. This is um, a Juno & Co sponge. It's a microfiber sponge, very nearly clean been used once. This is the Smashbox um, Nicole Concilio Photo Finish Serene Greens Spray. I love this stuff. I'm gonna do a little color correcting on my eyes. I get a little darker in here and then the veins. And with a bright look like this, we don't want any of that ruining it. So this is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in Pink. And this is gonna combat like, like purpley shades and stuff. We've got so much pink happening right now. I am not mad about it. The cool thing was like after I like actually created my last Halloween tutorial, I was really like inspired and stuff. So I think that's part of it. You just gotta get out there and like do what you know you love to do, even if you're not feeling super inspired and just put work out there. Cause at the end of the day, you're gonna feel good. Just like when I don't wanna go to the gym and I'm like, oh no, screw this. And then I go, like I feel so much better after. Like it's crazy. Where's my shape tape? We're gonna improvise. I'm gonna use one of my other favorite concealers. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and this is in Very Fair. I wanna hear what y'all wore for Halloween last year. Leave that in the comments. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm prepared to have glitter on my face for like a while after this. I'm going to Vegas tomorrow, so actually by the time you guys see this, I'll already be in Vegas. <laughs> 
For this look, I'm gonna be using two different palettes. Let me make sure I have all my shades. Red, orange, yellow, green. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So I'm gonna be using two Morphe palettes. This one is, I labeled these on the outside because it's so annoying to not know what's inside of all of them. This is the 12P. This is a cool little palette that's a super affordable, especially with my discount code if you choose to use Morphe. But, um, many colorful palettes out there. This is just one that I prefer. I just love how you get so many different shades packed into such a little small palette. Sometimes I like some of the shades from this one a bit better and these are super, super pigmented. This is the 35B palette. You guys can get 10% off your entire Morphe order if you would like to use my code. I'm such a good singer. So I'm gonna be referencing this photo. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, that's easy. She just literally kept the rainbow how it is. I like that. Gosh, I've never done a rainbow on my eyes like that. Like, that's like intense. I'm gonna be using the red from this palette right here. And I'm just going to start laying that down. And I'm not gonna start my clouds over as much as she did. She kind of did it like, way over here. I'm just gonna kind of like start them over here. Yeah, she kind of pulled it all the way into the inside. I need a smaller brush. Just gonna get this as pigmented and packed on as I'd like it before moving on to the next shade. Moving on to the orange in that same palette. I'm gonna overlap these slightly because I'm probably gonna run out of space. It's like looking back at the picture, she like barely squeaked in the top shade. Red, orange, yellow. Yellow is next. Ooh, these yellows are different. This one's kind of like more neon-y right here. And then this one is a little more like mustard yellow. I think I'm going to go, I think I'm gonna mix both of them actually to get that in between. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Shout out to Morphe for like making super pigmented eyeshadow palettes that don't break the bank, like honestly. I'm getting nervous about the amount of space that we've got going on. If you have a smaller eyelid space, I would definitely um, use small, small brushes and start off pretty small with your areas. I'm gonna kind of worry about blending these and reinforcing the shades later. I just wanna map out where I want the shades to be right now to make sure I can fit them all in there. But honestly, I'm still not sure I can fit it all in there, but we gonna try. You could also skip like, you could skip like the yellow or the orange and just like skip one of those and like one of them would do. And then when you mix the yellow over the, per the red, it's gonna look kind of like orange anyway, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm like running out of space right there. I'm supposed to fit two more right there. That's not happening. Where it's gonna have to be out here, I guess. Last shade. Barely getting it in there. Did this girl still draw on her eyebrows? I'm gonna go into the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay palette and just grab um, Spitfire right here. And just gonna like put a little translucent like look over this so it looks more like a brow highlight kind of situation. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of Brixton, put on top too. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and reinforce all of my shades. This one's gonna be hard. I can't put the blue in here. Don't worry about how messy this is over here either. It really doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just kind of clean up the edges where I know that we're gonna be drawing a cloud and just let this chill. I know it looks like a hot mess, but it will come together like a painting. I would have done a little less space on the red, so if you do this yourself, maybe make that smaller, like keep the, keep the like, keep the red smaller. That's what I think. I'm gonna go ahead and do my base off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I did my brows and added a little bit of concealer under there to lighten it up a tad but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Sigma blush cheek palette and go in with Mod Mauve right here. I'm kinda gonna use that as a blush slash contour-ish in that area. Whoa. I'm laying this all down first so that when we go and do like the clouds, we're not trying to like put blush and highlight on like over top of that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one, which is called Pinkin, and I'm just going to kind of put this over the nose area. I've never actually done this, but I like the way that it looks in people's pictures. 
No, I'm gonna take a combo. Oh, sorry, I gotta tell you what this is. This is the BH Cosmetics Duo Light Highlight Nine Color Palette. I was raving about this online a couple months ago. I just haven't used it in a little while. I'm gonna use Top Notch and Double Whammy right here. And a little bit of that guy. That's why I love this palette. I mean, what? I mean, can we just, can you just, can you just? Because I can't. Highlight your mustache. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a lot. I highly suggest this highlight palette. It is one of the best highlight palettes I have ever used in my life. Okay, let's just put highlight fucking everywhere. Why the, why not? It's Halloween. Going back to this and just adding a little bit more pink. I am going to make this blush a little more pink with the Morphe um, Cool Pro 8C palette. Just going in with hot right here, and a little bit of that one. I was looking at it in the mirror out there and can hardly see it. Oh yeah, while I'm doing this, I have to keep telling myself, this is a Halloween costume look. This ain't every day, cause I'm like, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's a lot. <laughs> For white, I don't know why this, what this paint has all over it. Oh, this is the Global Colors Body Art Paint. It looks like this. I'm gonna use this little guy to paint my clouds on, well, to outline at least. This is the Sigma Bent Liner B12 brush. It's gonna, this is a water activated paint. So you just get the right amount of water where it's not too um, watery and it's not too like not watery. Lex, made you look by Lex could probably like really describe that a lot better than that. I'm just gonna get up in here and Paint some clouds, however you want. There's no right way to do this. Okay, I guess I'm gonna paint the whole thing with this little tiny brush. <laughs> I'll let this dry. I'm gonna draw tiny little stars. All right, now I'm getting my glitter out. I'm gonna use a few different things. So like whatever glitter that you have will work. Um, I got this one from Michaels. You can use the little stars in here. I am not gonna use those today just because they clump together and you have to pick them apart a little bit and I don't really wanna sit here and do that. So I'm gonna be using Go Get Glitter. Um, there's no name on this one. It's just kind of like an iridescent, like pretty one. And then I'm gonna use Too Faced Peel Off Eyeliner in Glitter. Ghost looks like this and then I'm gonna use a little bit of Urban Decay's heavy metal liner in pyro starting off with Too Faced glitter I'm just going to start putting this all on the bottom of the clouds and then I draw a couple of these down now I'm taking the heavy metal glitter and kind of just adding another dimension to this since the glitter is more on the pink side rather than the green I'm gonna take this all the way in as well. So I'm taking some glitter glue. Um, oh gosh, my brush is rolling in it. You can take whatever kind you want. Um, this is a Violet Voss one. I don't really like Violet Voss, so I probably should cut that out, but <laughs> um, I do like their glitter glue. Uh, don't like them as a company, but um, Too Faced has one and Go Get Glitter has one. You can pretty much get one from any company that offers any sort of glitter. So I'm just gonna kind of apply this over some of the areas that we applied the other. And you can see it's making a little mark, so it'll be easier to tell where we, where we need to put the glitter and lay it down. I'm gonna do one eye at a time so that it doesn't dry. And I'm gonna grab up the glitter that I've poured out here. Oh my gosh, I love glitter. And just start placing it where the glitter glue is. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Using the same glitter and glue, but a different brush that's like a little bit bigger, I'm just going to be putting this in the inner corner of the eye all the way up to the eyebrow and just kind of tapping it in there, grabbing the glitter and applying tons of it. When in doubt, add more glitter. We almost have a glitter unibrow, folks. Alrighty then, we got some lashes on and I'm gonna go ahead and put some lipstick on. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Talic uh, shade and our lips are sealed. 
I saw them post this on Instagram today and I was like, what is that shade? I must have it. Here it is. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. <gasps> it's like nine o'clock and I haven't eaten dinner. I'm so hungry. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. Mm, there it is. Mm. Okay, I put my little wig on and a little like train conductor hat and I would call this good Um, honestly not super impressed with this like stuff. I used for the clouds I feel like there's got to be something better out there. Maybe this just isn't a great body paint I don't know Have you guys use this. What do you think? I always feel like I have to build up so many layers to get the opacity that I want then it ends up getting chunky and cracking and just Kind of doing what it's doing in here, but it works good enough um, if you guys have any like white body paint that, they've, that you've used that isn't cream that works better than this, please let me know in the comments below because I am in desperate need of a better white body paint. Help a sister out. I thought I was just gonna like drool on myself because I hadn't swallowed my spit in a minute. Okay, that's gross. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this super quick and easy tutorial. Um, leave some more brow space for your brows and the purple and use a better white and I think I think you're gonna be golden. Learn from my mistakes, right? Um, I just, I don't really ever do anything as a test run before I actually do it because I like my mistakes and like my learning to be in videos too so that you guys can learn what not to do and I can be the test subject if that makes sense. Um, can't be amazing at everything, right? So I uh, am excited to read what you guys were for Halloween last year. Um, last year, oh, what was I last year? <gasps> oh, I went to an Urban Decay party and I was, I just put on like this like, um, Greek God kind of dress and then put in some black contacts and kind of look like a gladiator God chick with black contacts. I just like threw it together. So that's what I was last year. Nothing super duper exciting. I will chat with you guys in the comments and I'll see you on this Instagram video snippet over on Instagram. Thanks for watching guys and spending some time on my channel. I will link some of my other Halloween tutorials down below from years past and my most recent one on this channel. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.